Good afternoon and welcome to today's webinar on embedded analytics in Tableau. My name is Karen Merjot and I'm Unalytics Marketing Director and your host for today. John Strakowski, Unalytics Project Manager, will be presenting today's webinar. In this webinar, you'll learn what embedded analytics is, some of the challenges involved in embedding analytics, such as authentication and security, and we'll then have an end-to-end -end demonstration of embedding Tableau <clears throat> in a web page with SSO. Although today's topic is somewhat specialized for some, I'm really excited about it because, excuse me, <coughs> the use of embedded analytics is surging as more and more companies discover that it dramatically improves the analytics experience. Before we get started with the webinar, I just want to tell you a little bit about Unalytics and what we do. We've been in the business intelligence and analytics space for over 19 years. We've been a Tableau partner and certified Tableau service provider for the last seven years. Our focus has been on Tableau since 2013. We offer a full range of Tableau services such as dashboard creation, Tableau training, data prep, including ETL work, and data warehousing solutions. We specialize in providing BI services to small and mid-sized companies as an extended BI team. Just to give you an idea of how extensive our Tableau experience is, we've completed over 350 engagements built upwards of 1,200 Tableau dashboards and trained more than 2,800 Tableau users. Here are samples of some of our customers. As you can see, they're from a broad range of industries and they're also from a broad range of functions. So finally, uh, before I hand the presentation over to John, I wanted to let you know that there will be a Q&A at the end of the webinar. You can type your questions in the webinar control panel, which is at the top right corner of the screen at any time during the webinar. There will be a recording of the webinar available on Unalytics website following the, following the webinar, and we will be sending you a link. So I will now hand the presentation over to John and I hope you enjoy the webinar. Webinar. Thank you, Karen. Hello, everybody. My name is John Strakowski, and let's get right into it. So what is embedded analytics? In the case of Tableau, it is our ability to take a dashboard that we'd normally interact with on Tableau server and embed it in another environment. It sounds simple enough, but what we also want to do is make the experience seamless for the visitors, you know, the people who are going to actually interact with the dashboard. So let's look at an example, basic example. Here we have a web page that's actually a web page on the Unalytics website. It discusses our trainings and there is a screenshot in the middle of the page with a link to a dashboard. That dashboard has um, basically um, is visualizing um, the uh, response and the feedback that we get from our various attendees, which is actually really excellent. Let's take a look. So here we have this web page, and here we have the screenshots. And if I click on it, it'll take me to Tableau Public, where I can interact with the dashboard. As you can see, our um, attendees' feedback is really excellent. Um, we deliver great, um, great training. So that's it. So we had a screenshot with a link that takes us to a dashboard. There's another possibility. We could have our web page and the dashboard directly embedded in the page. So we go from web page screenshot dashboard to web page screenshot. Let's take another look. And it's pretty seamless. The page loads and we directly have the dashboard available to us and we can interact with it immediately. Here we go. That's what I call a seamless experience for the visitor. Now, what's the difference between the two? 
The difference is that instead of choosing, you know, from the little toolbar at the bottom of the dashboard where there's a share button and you can either grab the link to uh, post your website that will take you to that dashboard or you can also grab the embed code and embed the dashboard directly into the web page, which is what I, which is what I did. And so that's really the only difference between those two pages. In one case, there are, there's a link that takes you to the dashboard. In the other case, we've embedded the dashboard directly into the page. So what we've done is we've actually embedded a dashboard. That's not entirely what embedded analytics is about. It's, there's more to it. See, the problem is that at some point, we can no longer use Tableau Public. Our, our, our dashboard was on Tableau Public. And as long as it is, and as long as you can afford um, to use Tableau Public, then go right ahead. It's free, it's fantastic. There's no prompt uh, for the visitors to log in, et cetera. The problem is a lot of our data is not public, it's private. And when we need our visitors to visualize private data, we can't uh, publish it on Tableau Public. That's when we need to publish it to either Tableau Online or Tableau Server, which is the on-prem version of Tableau Server, <clears throat> whereas online is the hosted version. When we do that, we're gonna to have to deal with two things. We're gonna to have to deal with a lot of things, but there are two really hard requirements that we have to look at when we want to have an embedded dashboard hosted on either Tableau Online or Tableau Server. We're gonna to have to look at the authentication method, me method and we're gonna to have to look at the licensing. Those are not the only challenges. Let's, so, let's look at some of our challenges, challenges that we're gonna at least discuss during this presentation and some of the major things that we have to consider with regards to embedding a dashboard on a third party application. Well, how are we going to authenticate? Once we're visualizing the data, what can we do with it? How can we interact with that data? And possibly how can we enrich the experience for the visitor? What about security? Uh, what about multi-tenancy? If I have sites on my Tableau server, Tableau online, how is that being maintained through this uh, shared um, dashboard? and licensing. So let's dive right into it again. Um, first question, authentication. Why do we even need to talk about it? Well, because once our dashboard is hosted on Tableau Online or Tableau website, this isn't what the visitors are gonna see on your, on, when they go and try to interact with the dashboard, this is what they're gonna see. And it's not very user-friendly, nobody needs that. I mean, this is a public website. The last thing you'd want is for every visitor to have to identify themselves specifically. And remember, the licensing, the license with Tableau uh, states that every interactor, everybody, anybody, any, vis any visitor that like to interact with your visualization needs their own Tableau server account or Tableau online account. So you can't even have a shared account. Uh, not, at the, you know, not with the current state of, of, of licensing, which is why we have to discuss license. We'll do that a little bit. So as far as authentication goes, what can we do? Well, we have two options, really. We can either use Tableau Public. We've already seen how that works. It's great, it's easy, and it's free. Or we can implement what's called a single sign-on authentication methodology. What that means is that we're gonna offload the authentication to a third-party process or vendor or protocol, actually a little bit of all of, all of these. The way this looks is, let me give you an example. You would log in to your workstation in the morning. Once that's done, the SSO provider, the third party authenticator, now knows who you are and knows that as far as you working from that workstation, you can now be authenticated through all of these tools. That's what the single sign on is going to do for you from an organizational standpoint. The third party authenticator, the, the third party authenticator is actually say, saying that, okay, I know who this person is and they're safe to be logged into all these different applications. More specifically to our, for our current concern, which is that we'd like our visitors to not be prompted for credentials. Well, same, same methodology, some more uh, specific use case. And what I wanted to show you was that implementing single sign-on um, carries, you know, has more, has more to it than just bypassing the prompt. It can do a lot more, more for you uh, from an organizational standpoint. Um, but specifically to our embedded Tableau dashboard, um, where we normally have our dashboard authenticating directly to Tableau server, now we have this intermediate. The way it's gonna work is we're gonna designate a single token user 
uh, that user is going to be used by our SSO provider to authenticate all our visitors. I don't know if you heard something wrong with what I said. The single user is going to authenticate all our visitors. As I mentioned previously, that doesn't jive with the Tableau license, which is where we're going to have to deal with that in two slides, actually. So the idea here is that if we, can, if we configure our SSO provider correctly, there are ways to bypass the prompt completely by virtue of implementing this SSO methodology. We have a few different options for implementing SSO, single sign-on. With Tableau Online, well, there are various ways we can implement single sign-on. Um, there's only one that actually allows us to bypass the prompt, the username and password prompt. So that's the only one I'm gonna to discuss today. SAML is a protocol, it stands for Security Assertion Markup Language. It's a protocol that's used by many vendors, including Tableau Server, and that implements a third-party authentication. So what that means is you're gonna to have to choose a vendor or a solution that uses SAML, and once you have that in place, we can configure SAML to connect to Tableau Server, and then we can, conf can also configure SAML to bypass the prompt. SAML, by the way, is one of the more, more commonly used protocols for single sign-on. It's also your only option with Tableau Online. With Tableau Server, which is the on-prem version, we have three options. We have SAML, which is available to us. Um, the force tags, Apex force tags, is proprietary to Salesforce. If you're looking to embed your visualization in Salesforce, then that's your option. It's a markup language that also extends into the uh, third-party authenticator. Excuse me. And a third method available to us is trusted authentication, a process by which we designate a third party site or application as being sort of friendly, not friendly, as being safe, secured. But basically what we're doing is we're telling Tableau Server, this site or this application is safe to work with. And it doesn't, that's not all that's needed. That doesn't just in and of itself bypasses the prompt. But once we have this trusted relationship established, we can actually generate a token, and that token is going to allow us to bypass the prompt. That is actually the, um, the demo that we're going to uh, go through at the end of this uh, presentation. Next thing we wanted to, next challenge, it's, it was the what we're going to do with our data once we visualize it, and how can we interact with it? Well, Tableau Server has many APIs. One of them is the JavaScript API, and it is a fantastic tool to enrich the embedded analytics experience because it allows us to interact with our dashboard outside of the dashboard. I'm going to show you a very, very basic example just to give you an idea. Here's a very basic, very simple dashboard to test dashboard. And I messed up one of our um, uh, website pages here by removing some of the text in this banner. And I added a little a drop down HTML. It's a basic, stupid HTML. I don't know why I said stupid. It's a simple HTML control. It's a drop down menu that has these three um, items in it. If I select 2013, you'll see my dashboard here we'll go to 2013. 2013. You get the idea. Now, in and of itself, this seems pretty mundane. Why do I bother? It's redundant. I already have this control here. What I'm trying to exemplify is the fact that when you take your, your, embed, your dashboard and you embed it in your own web applications, you can configure that application to interact directly with the dashboard. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. What you can also do by virtue of using this, uh, the, the, the JavaScript API, the Tableau JavaScript API, you can do a lot more than just interact with the dashboard. You can even add data points. We can take some of the results that we're seeing at viewing time and enrich that data and re-inject that data, add data points or add um, the presentation as you're seeing it. Not sorry, not the presentation, the dashboard as you're viewing it. So it's an extremely powerful feature and it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic tool for enriching the experience. So highly recommend you look into it. Security, well, just because there's no direct link doesn't mean we shouldn't worry about it. When I say worry, I should say, let's, let's keep an eye on it. Put it to you this way. None of the SSO implementation is gonna bypass your existing setup. So if you've got good security going on, as in if you set up your permissions correctly, your Tableau server, Tableau online is set up with a least most restrictive uh, security model, everything is locked down, people can only see the dashboards that they should be seeing and nothing else once that's in place, 
by the way, this is not the only way to manage security and permissions in Tableau, but just giving you a use case here. Once all that is in place, SSO will not bypass, will not mess anything up. It'll work with your current security, with your existing permissions and security in place. So it doesn't bypass role assignment, multi-tenancy, or permissions. Two things to remember. With SAML, by virtue of the type of protocol that it is, when we give a visitor access to our uh, visualization on the third party application or website, we're by extension also giving them access to the server. So it's just something to keep in mind. Now, you don't necessarily have to have a link on the web page or on the application that takes the visitor to Tableau server, but you should keep in mind that permission should be dealt with as such, meaning that you should restrict the access of that user to only the dashboard that they're gonna be visualizing. That way, if by, by some, they, they found a way, if a visitor found a way to trace back the dashboard to the server, they would still only be able to view that dashboard and nothing else. That's all. As far as trusted authentication goes, same principle. Our token user, the user that we're gonna be assigning to the SSO provider as being the, the, the user used to authenticate our visitors. With trusted authentication, we can, first of all, the, we're gonna be generating a token. That token is extremely short-lived. As far as trusted authentication goes, you would literally have to hack your way through the process to uh, co-opt the token. Even if you did, um, we can restrict the access of a ticket to uh, just the visualization, but it's still best practice for the token, for the, uh, token user to be given uh, restricted access to just that visualization. That, this was actually a how-to. Pretty much that's all there is to it. It's not more complicated than that. I mean, I'm talking about managing security in the context of uh, an embedded dashboard on a third-party application. The last piece the, that we have to talk about, the last challenge really, is licensing. I've mentioned before, by default, your basic Tableau license is only available for one user uh, per interactor, one seat per interactor, meaning that anybody that, that will be interacting with a visualization has to have their own Tableau Online or Tableau Server uh, access, set of credentials. They can't be shared. No worries, just give us a quick call. Uh, we'll be happy to um, you know, provide you with a quote. Uh, Tableau provides a special license for embedded analytics. It's actually fairly affordable. Like I said, give us a call. We'll be happy to uh, give you some more details on that. But that's it. Just remember, your basic license wouldn't allow you to implement uh, this type of feature. Even if you could do it, you're not supposed to. So you just make sure you get the right license. And we're ready for our uh, trusted authentication little demo. So I try to make, I've tried to make this as sexy as possible. It really isn't. Um, because yeah, there's, it, what, what, what's gonna happen is happening in the back end and um, I can't really demonstrate it. I can show you the end result. So the way trust authentication work, as I mentioned before, is we create a trust relationship between Tableau server and a third party web application or website. Once we have that trust established, programmatically, what we're gonna do is we're going to request a token from Tableau server, receive that token and implement that token in an embedded dashboard. The way I'm gonna demo this for you is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna access a visualization on a Tableau server, getting there right now. And then I'll access the same visualization without having to log in. We're gonna look at one of my very first dashboard, looks awful. It's, I think it's one of my very, very first dashboard I've ever done. Um, it's about snake oil supplements and whatnot. It doesn't really matter. Wait for it, wait for it. We don't use this server very often, so that's why. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. I'm gonna grab the URL, which is the link to that uh, visualization. I'm gonna log out of Tableau server. And just like a magic trick, just confirm I can't access the dashboard anymore. And now I'm going to access that same visualization hosted on that Tableau server that we just logged out of, but from a third party website. That's it. And as you can see, we're still not logged in. 
of reviewing that visualization. And so what happened is we requested a token, we received the token, it's all done programmatically, and then we use that token in an embedded dashboard. I would say that between trusted authentication and SAML, there are two major differences. Is, I mean, the, the one major difference is that trusted authentication is going to require a bit more programming, a bit more groundwork in terms of programming. SAML would require a bit more networking and, and, and networking awareness to be implemented, much less code. So in conclusion, for embedded analytics, we have to worry about or think about our, is the licensing, our choice of authentication, SAML, the force, trusted authentication. How are we going to leverage the Tableau JavaScript API? Not a requirement, but highly recommended. Like I said, it's a fantastic tool to enrich the experience. And security, which really just requires good governance, which we can certainly help you with. We have a lot of experience with that. And that's it. That concludes our presentation for today.